massage yourself. Hey guys, it's your girl Valerie Ortiz here and you're watching American Latino TV celebrating American Latino pride. And today we have a collection of extraordinary Latinos who strive valiantly in the face of any obstacles only to overcome and persevere. Wow, just saying that has me motivated. All right, kicking off the show, we have an amazing story about an amazing actress. The George Lopez show might have ended a few years ago. However, the actress who played the Lopez family matriarch is still taking on roles that push the boundaries of what kind of stories should be told on the small screen, particularly those involving Latino characters. Now starting its second season, the critically acclaimed series, Switched at Birth, sees the former sitcom star, Constance Marie, stripped of her comedic chops and focused on the drama that can result from two teenagers discovering they've been raised by the wrong parents. All right, All right check this out. Yeah, of course. I got up at 6.30 in rehab. Yoga and affirmations before breakfast. And I made you lunch. I think that I'm really blessed that I've been able to like jump from like the George Lopez show and then to switch that birth. Uh, so I watch mostly comedy because honestly, my character life on Switched at Birth is kind of kicking my butt. Came to return this. Oh. I came in one night and took it. It's okay. No, it's not okay. I'm incredibly embarrassed and I want to apologize. The drama surrounding the untraditional characters of ABC Family's hit show, Switched at Birth, might be a little different than what actress Constance Marie is used to. However, switching genres comes easy for this seasoned performer. Switched at Birth is a show that explains what happens when two 16-year-old girls through a high school science experiment find out that they were not raised by the proper parents. They were switched in the hospital at birth. I play Regina Vasquez, who is a single mother. My daughter is deaf. Thank you, but we've actually been going out for lunch, mostly. Doesn't that get expensive? Johnny Catherine got me a credit card. They what? It's not like I'm buying flat screen TVs or anything with it. It's just for lunch and school supplies. This show and the deaf community and having such a presence, not just one deaf character on the show, it was going to be essentially a quarter to a third of the show is going to be deaf. It's completely silent scenes. We have Marley Matlin on the show who played my best friend and the deaf community came out and supported it like gangbusters because we, we went the extra mile. Hey guys. Travis, this is Hi, Colette, Evelyn. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, I gotta get uh, back to work. I've fallen in love with the deaf community working on Switched at Birth, and they've been very embracing. When I did George Lopez, it was the only Latin show to ever go over 13 episodes ever in 75 years of television. I understand what it's like to not be represented. And so that's why when the Switched at Birth came along, I fell in love with the deaf community. I was like, they are not represented either. And then I discovered a charity called Dogs for the Deaf. Hi, I'm Gail Wilson. Welcome to Dogs for the Deaf, where dogs are rescued from shelters and trained to help people with disabilities. And it's two charities in one because it helps autistic and deaf people by providing rescue animals that have been trained to help alert them if there's a, like a fire truck or if the phone is ringing or if somebody's at the door, things that are not sign language or something that they could actually see. In response to the sound, the dog makes physical contact with its trainer and brings the trainer to the source of the sound. Then, of course, there's lots of praise and reward. So it takes a rescue animal that nobody wanted, that was about to be put down, and it gives it training, and it gives it somebody to love them. So it's, it's, it's a win-win situation for everybody. 